Los Angeles' first interstate bank fire occurred on the night of May 4, 1988. The bank was located at the intersection of Wilshire Boulevard and Hope Street in downtown Los Angeles. This Type 1 building was constructed in 1974 with a fire-resistant coated steel frame 62 stories tall. The 17,500 square feet office spaces were made of open and readily combustible materials. During office hours, it housed approximately 4,000 people, but at the time of the fire, only 50 were present. The agency within jurisdiction was Los Angeles City Fire Department. The Los Angeles Interstate Bake Fire originated in an open plan office area in the southeast quadrant of the 12th floor. The cause was presumed to be electrical in origin, however the precise source of ignition was not determined. The fire extended to the entire open area and several offices and closures to fully involve the 12th floor. The fire did not spread to the passenger elevator lobby, which was protected by automatic closing fire doors. The fire extended to floors above, mostly by the outer walls of the building, once windows broke and flames penetrated behind the panels around the ends of the floor slabs. There was heavy exposure of flames to the windows on successive floors as the fire extended upward from the 12th to the 16th floors. The flames were estimated to be lapping 30 feet up the face of the building. Fire ground commanders were concerned about the possibility of the fire lapping higher to involve additional floors. The fire extended at a rate estimated at 45 minutes per floor and burned intensely for approximately 90 minutes on each level. This resulted in two floors being heavily involved at any point during the fire. The upward extension was stopped by the 16th floor level after completely destroying four and one half floors of the building. At approximately 22.37, the fire department received three separate 911 calls from people outside of the first interstate building reporting a fire on the upper floors. At 22.38, a Category B assignment was dispatched consisting of Task Force 9 and 10, Engine 3, Squad 4, and Battalion 1, a total of 30 personnel. The first report of the fire from inside the building was received at 22.41 as the first two companies were arriving at the scene. While en route, Battalion 1 had observed and reported a large loom-up in the general area of the building. As he arrived on the scene, the battalion chief observed the entire east side and three-fourths of the south side of the 12th floor fully involved with fire. Battalion Chief Don Kate immediately called for five additional task forces, five engine companies, and five battalion chiefs. This was followed quickly by a request for an additional five task forces, five engine companies, and five battalion chiefs, providing a total response of over 200 personnel within five minutes of the first alarm. Two fire department helicopters were also dispatched. The high-rise incident command system was initiated with the companies assigned to fire attack into logistics and support functions from the outset. In accordance with Los Angeles City Fire Department policy, elevators were not used and all personnel climbed the stairs to the fire area. The first companies to reach the fire floor found smoke entering all four stair shafts from around the exit door. Hand lines were connected to the standpipe risers and the initial attack began at approximately 2310. Due to the magnitude on the fire on the 12th floor, attack was initiated from all four stairway, stairways. The crew had great difficulty advancing lines through the doors and onto the floor. As the doors were opened, heat and smoke pushed into the stairways and rose rapidly to the upper levels of the building. The first six arriving companies were sent immediately to attack the fire. The initial attack used primarily two-inch attack lines. The attack was hampered by low water pressure for the first few minutes until the building fire pumps were started. The standpipes were also supplied by three fire department pumpers via the exterior hose connections. As the attack was put into operation, the staging area was established on the 10th floor and a lobby. Control was established at ground level. The base for the operation was located a block south of the building. The command post was established by the first arriving battalion chief one half block south of the fire. 
and the incident commander operated from this location for the duration of the incident. The operations chief went to the 10th floor staging area to direct interior suppression efforts while he would have direct contact with officers assigned to each floor. The fire was spreading upward. Companies successfully launched attacks from all four stairways onto the 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th floors, often encountering heavy fire from the point of entry and having to fight their way onto those floors with hand lines. At times, active suppression efforts were underway simultaneously on four levels as crews attempted to push the fire back from the central core to the perimeter of each floor. As more doors were open, conditions in the stairways deteriorated with heat and smoke going up and water cascading down. The strategy employed to stop the upward progress of the fire was to use aggressive tactics on the 14th, 15th to reduce the fire intensity and the resulting exposure to the floors above while setting up with hose lines and waiting for fire to attack the 16th floor. This strategy proved to be successful but required extreme efforts by crews operating hand lines on heavily involved floors, with as many as four floors burning below them. Approximately 20 hand lines were used by 32 attack companies on the fire involved floors. An important part of any fire or large incident is an incident command system. The ICS is a management system designed to control personnel, facilities, equipment, and communications throughout an emergency operation. In this incident, assuming incident command was Battalion 1 with Battalion Chief Don Kate. After a size up of the incident, observing the entire east side and three quarters of the south side of the 12th floor was fully involved. Battalion 1 called for five engine companies and five battalion chiefs along with the first two companies. Two fire department helicopters were also dispatched. As the incident grew in complexity, this is where the ICS really comes into place. The first arriving engine companies were tasked with attacking the fire. A staging area was established and a command post to control the incident from. This fire claimed one life, injured 35 occupants, injured 14 firefighters. The primary cause of these injuries were smoke inhalation and exhaustion. In conclusion, this 62-story building fire proved to be an extremely dynamic incident. LA City FD how to maintain control and utilize tactics and strategies to manage an extremely complex incident while managing resources and attacking the fire. The complexity of this fire did not prove to be much for LA to handle.